Hey, welcome back. This is part three. Don't worry, watching a Vasa Hai. If you're also on YouTube, you saw a very good version because you've got your readings. I've had a full link version of this. Another thing to do with Patreon or Patreon memberships. I'll put the link in the description below. Pin comments so you can go check that out. Yeah. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review. I want to suck your blood. Let's finish this movie. But is it Mari's story? Like, is Mari the boy? The writer-director? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Wow. Yeah. What? You thought it was going to be like a Rima Das, like happy kind of It was feeling like film, that. Right, right, right. And right. then it turned out to be a Rajnikanth kick to the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good uh, lord, gut punch there at the end, though it's Though it's not perfect, it is platinum for me. Yeah. It is platinum for me. That, 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 uh, especially the last act. Yeah. It, it went from being really strong gold for me and then that last 30 minutes just sent it over the top yeah yeah wow wow great film and i've only heard that from people um they when it came out uh it didn't get a release here obviously so sad uh, it came out the same time as adam and girl and people are like i've had a lot of people say this is the best film of the year for them obviously it's in the conversation yeah it's in the conversation it's for sure easily one of my favorites of the year it is easily it's in my top three um whether it should be sent to the oscars i don't like like it, it <sighs> is it good enough yes, yes absolutely yes but will american audiences who don't know all the references right all the cultural things that right. we barely know because we've been doing this five years <laughs> That we get partially now. Partially. I'm, and I'm sure there's a lot of regional things that we completely missed. But even things as important as what the henna means or mm -hmm. having all the different symbolisms of God, yeah. particularly in the cow. A Kamal um, and Rajnikanth. Yeah, the Kamal Rajnikanth references. Uh, what it means to just village life. What is a ruby? Um, what is like how important that is that the yeah. cow would leave? Yeah, this is um, like very culturally rude. Not that I don't think people could appreciate it uh, for what it is, because artistically it's brilliant. Yeah. I think, uh -huh. uh, and I think they'd be able to walk away with like that was a nice film. But will they be able to get the gravity of everything and how good all the, <laughs> right. the references right. were? It would be my hesitation with sending this as opposed to but and on quality level it's as good as everything else there are things that an astute cinema lover would recognize example uh he made it a point to make everything tragic become black and white yeah, yeah. and then and, and just how everything in life loses all of its joy and its color um and he did the opposite with the joyful moments uh so but it is without question one of the best films of the year. It's in the top three. Easily. Best films of the year. Um, yeah. It was, that was so good. Uh, my, I mean, I we, we liked, uh, I think the only other thing we've seen of this director is Karnan, uh, and we really enjoyed that one. This is um, even better. And different style of film, I of course. personally, I believe that the families of this event, the friends and families who were involved in this event, you, that, Mari, you have done them honorable. And you have 
encapsulated for all time their story so that it won't ever be forgotten. We didn't know the story, so we're two people who can appreciate what happened and know of these people. And it's now forever captured on celluloid for people to know, which is really, really important. Boy, not what I was anticipating happening. Not at, at all. At all. No. Like, at all. I mean. <laughs> I I thought the mom was going to die. I did, too. And I was like, oh, that's going to be a sad story. But, like. I still think the razor blade was at fault. <laughs> I really. <laughs> Stuck on the razor blade. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, every the kids. I did not expect a catastrophe on that level and thank you stupid babies for not spoiling anything in that regard because that's an important thing that people can't know that i'm so glad the log line gives you no hint I don't know that, that I, this is a tragedy i don't know i call it a mystery that's a weird uh no it's a drama it's a, drama. It's a straight up drama it's yeah. not a mystery on the indb it's classified as a mystery <sighs> um but uh, everybody did so well the kids did a phenomenal i mean one of the how many films that we've seen that Indian directors have been able to get like better performances out of kids than anything I've ever seen out of Truly, Hollywood. Truly, the consistency with which they can get child performers to do, this could have gone so, anytime you've got kids, it can go sideways, especially with something that deals with deep tragedy. Because most kids haven't gone through deep tragedy to know what that is to yeah. even replicate that in some fashionable way to let you know I, I'm really going through this. And uh, it's a testament to his direction as well, the way he did that. Cinematography by Denny Aswar, if I'm pronouncing Good. your name correctly, Good was Lord. absolutely spectacular. Fire. So beautiful. Oh, the as well. score was magnificent. Oh, it's a magnificent did a score. Phenomenal job. I agree. Yeah, all ton the of songs and then also ton the of dummy knobs coming. Ton of dummy knobs. Yeah, I mean, I obviously of the the three films that I think are in the top in terms of elevativeness that we've seen. So obviously, all we imagine is like is not in there currently because we have not seen it. Correct. This Adamant Girl, La Pata Ladies. Yeah, and then. Um, those would probably be the top three. Right? Those, those are my top three. Um, yeah, for the year. Um, Do, uh, as Manjimal Boys is in Manjimal the conversation Boys, for this year. Um, I, in terms of my favorites, uh, and, Fafa is obviously still a, another one that is one of my favorites of the years. Is the Mammoths one horror film? Yeah, Twelfth uh, Fail would not be in there because it's last, last year. year for us, um, and so uh, that's not in there. But yeah, those that's the top five that rounds out your top five. Right yeah, there. I mean, I'm probably forgetting something as well. Um, I, once we go over the list uh, at the end of the year, I'll be able to yeah. fully tell. Yeah, but but I, I totally understand why this got, is part uh, of the conversation. But then you got Thangalan, and then you got uh, yeah. uh, uh, Danusha's film, which yeah. is very, very, very good. Very, very good. Um, Damal is on a wow. powerhouse yeah, role right now in terms of... Uh, indeed. Uh, second half of the year, especially. Uh, that's You could just say like it's the, the half a year of Damal uh, cinema, because this is... It's always crazy because when you hear like, ah, oh, best film of the year, best film of the year, you're like, hmm, is it getting hyped up too much? Right. I don't know. Right. And then it lives up to it. Like, everything about this is so, so good. Yeah, it it's really so is. It's so engaging. It is. It's re and I loved all the supporting characters. I did too. And it's interesting because it's for a tragedy, he spaced everything out in such a way that, that the predominance of the film is filled with more... Uh, joy and happiness so that it's, it's very much. rare you see a tragedy and think to yourself i would easily watch that again a lot of the times you want to distance yourself yeah. you still love the film um and the way he filmed the tragedy too was so well done um having her hand on her. that was that was powerful because you know exactly who it is the minute you see that hand and it went from being an emblem of love and hope to tragedy and and death and the fact that he dies trying to save her. This poor mother who was portrayed, what an exhausting role. And you've got to be invested, otherwise it's not believable. And man, was she invested. She did a great job. But the, the real woman who had to go through the loss of her husband and then the loss of her daughter and then her son just consistently trying to be a kid and her loving him but wanting him to learn life lessons and needing him to be a support just oh 
Yeah. I, and him, um, him losing his best friend and his sister like that, and the guy he was hoping would be the new dad for the family that he respected. Oh. Yeah, and then not knowing at the rough. end what was uh, what's going to happen to him. I mean, I guess that um, I guess they, they did come back for the funeral part, and he was lying in the mom's lap. But I thought it was going to end with like him just leaving. And, yeah, yeah. It looks like he came back at the and end. And it, is it obviously? It looked like with him standing there with the kid. How is this a story that is personal to Mario Salvaraj, or he heard the story and wanted to tell it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm assuming it's just he heard it. But yeah, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, he uh, wrote it. Was this a, and produced it? Was this a story that people knew about before this? Um, like right, this was like a, a known I'm, tragedy that happened. I'm sure in that region it was because it was showing the press releases for it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how obviously how how well known it was. And that's one of the most beautiful things about cinema is its capacity to preserve for all time true stories that n people need to remember and not not forget because that's one of the most important things you can do for any tragedy or people innocently dying is never forget and cinema has a magnificent way of preserving those things and i think he he, he did a excellent job yeah this uh hats off to mari because this was just a, a, a powerhouse in terms of how to how to piece together a film yeah, which editing with the editing that Mari did with Surya Pradman, yeah. editing was spectacular in the storytelling, shot choice editing was if, incredible. Like us, you didn't know what this was about in terms of the tragedy, mm -hmm. and so you were just trying to like, oh, is this like a just a kind of a coming, coming of, of age. age, right? And it is, but not it, kind of piecing it together, not not like indicating that this is going to happen at the end, it's right? Just like, punches you in the face obviously they had the actual true story to go off of um at least of the tragedy i'm, I'm sure i i'm sure the rest of it is kind of like um dramatized obviously for the for the film sure um you could correct me if i'm wrong then maybe that uh, they maybe it's maybe all straight this, up maybe, out of a maybe this book kids yeah. actually real and this is his actual story Who right knows? i don't know right um I mean, talking, obviously, kids like this have to go through this kind of stuff every day and you bet i thought the teacher did a really good job yep um believed her and their sweet relationship with this kid and you know all kids have crushes on adults in their life in yeah, some capacity in some way um like i had a crush on my aunt like my it was my step aunt but yeah <laughs> it was my I, I had a crush on her i was like i'm totally gonna marry her when i'm older <laughs> you're like, when you're older you're like, that's gross <laughs> well even, even the smallest of kids they all taught you know my daughters did it daddy when i grew up i'm gonna marry you Leland, it's just, Leland just said that yeah. to me yesterday yeah. He's like, am I going to marry you and mom when I'm yeah. older? Yeah. Sure, bud. Sure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want, Bubba. Um, and so beautiful kid, movie. Kids are so innocent, and it's so beautiful and so tragic. Yeah. And I love the way he, the, the black and white weaving in between it all. Yeah. And the foreshadowing that he did earlier with the cow, and you thinking that's kind of the story, and then it kind of, and yeah. The symbolisms, a lot, of, a lot of the place with the animals looking on, the gods looking yeah, on. Yeah, that was huge. So many times he had either a, a deity statue uh, or uh, the consistency with which Cow was paying attention and then the loss of that and the absence of that whenever he was disobedient. Uh, and the things that kids remember and think of, like that one evening when that guy came through the neighborhood and woke him up and it kind of scared him and that night he wet his bed. That's the flashing of his mind in the midst of the tragedy which is a testament to the writing, directing, and editing because those are moments that the actor might not even know that's what's going to happen in the moment. They just play the moment, but the director knows, I'm going to take you, the audience, inside the head of our our protagonist, and you're going to see what they're thinking. And he did that a lot with this character, mm -hmm. a lot, especially when it came into places where he's realizing that there's consequences for your actions. A lot of the times we go into his head. Yeah, it's awful. Dave. Yeah. Kids have to go through this kind yeah, of yeah, it really is. Um, but both the the friend and and the main little kid, I believe their relationship. I, it was a kind of a, a really beautiful story, um, for the most part. Um, but yeah, I don't don't really have a gripe. Not really, really, with the movie. It's uh, a <laughs> it's one that's a, a great film. Yeah, and I uh, I could see why people were loving it. I'm sad it didn't come here. But yeah, that, uh, it really. When I think of other films that get broad distribution, 
And then a film like this doesn't. It's so disappointing. Luckily, it's getting broad distribution now because yeah. it's on Disney+. Plus. That's great. Like, it's not on just like an, right. an Indian app. It's, That's great. It's on a Disney+. Plus. So people could, might, might be able to stumble upon this great story. Yeah. Um, but what did the ostrich committee consider this one at all? Was this on their list? Or is it just animal? Well, <laughs> here's, here's the problem. We don't there's, know. Well, there's only one criteria for the film federation to look at your film. Hmm. Pay the fee. Um, that's all there. That's all that matters. If you pay the fee, well, and there's no way you're going to look at all the films because you could, you could submit 2000 films. You're not going to watch all 2000 films, but you can submit it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, I, I still would probably, if I, if the, the ones I know about without leaving out, um, all we imagine is light because I haven't seen it yet, but Lapita ladies, all Westerners will get. Yeah. Uh, that'll have a broader appeal. Adamant Girl, I think it has a it it is not a lot. There's cultural stuff, but it's um I think it's the way it's shot, especially kind of yeah. really easy to understand, yeah. universal appeal, kind of uniquely shot. And so I think a lot of Westerners would have an easy time. This I think most Westerners would be able to appreciate the film as a, as a nice film. We'll be able to see it's a, how great the film is with without all the other. Yeah, they. Th I think. Let me. Like I said, I think the majority of people who understand cinema and the artistry of of fine artistry and elevative cinema would be able to absolutely pick up on uh, what I just mentioned: the fact that we're taken into his head with some of those shots and thoughts, and there's some universal things like wetting the bed, the wanting to go to school. It's it's the smaller nuances in the writing and the representation on film that are definitively this part of yeah. India that even we miss yeah. that make up the larger richness of the film that a broader audience. But I would always, I prefer that kind of miss for an audience that, that that's very specific about a region or something. Cause I don't think a Western audience or any other audience that's non Indian I, I think they would still walk away yeah, from the film, film appreciating it yeah. as a great film. Yeah. For all of the contributions that people can art, recognize. Because artistically, it's, it's, it's very, it's very, very high. As opposed to like a film like 2018, which artistically was not high at all. Um, it was just very sentimental to yeah. uh, a region of India. And, and this is the kind of film, not only is it the kind of film that the Oscars would be more inclined to take a look at, but for me, when you're talking about that caliber of storytelling, as much as I like Lapita Ladies, There'd be people who say, well, that's a better candidate because it's more universally uh, yeah. uh, available to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But if someone were to press me and say, which of the two do you find more artistically and aesthetically elevative, I lean toward this. Yeah. I don't know that I would say either one's more artistically elevative because... I lean toward I lean toward this an adamant girl. They're very different, but they're very different, um, and it's not taking anything away from Lapita Ladies because that's still a very <laughs> that's a great film. But yeah. in terms of just score, editing, directing, uh, the capacity to, to 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 use the medium at a high high level to convey things, particularly without words, yeah. um, that's where it becomes really difficult and why we often during the Oscars even with American films fight yeah. because everybody's got a really good vantage point over which one should or shouldn't win for whatever reason um, but yeah I'm really glad we did not miss this one Yeah, I, and I, I remembered once it started I had forgotten that that song which I thought was and still do utterly incredibly gorgeous Yeah, uh, at the end yeah, that we had reacted to that song yeah uh, yeah, wonderful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the watch. Yeah. Along. Obviously, let us know what you thought about the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, why? Uh, please let us know that, obviously. Yeah. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version because of copyright reasons. If you like the full and version of this and other phenomenal films on Patreon, you can head over to Patreon or channel memberships. So I'll put the link in the description below. Pin comes so you can go check that out. Let us know what our next Domino watch along should be. Uh, Mari Salvaraj. Oh. For him and in, in just Tamil in general, let us know what that should be. Uh, anything we missed, let us know down in the comments below. And uh, 